April 27th, you have the cell, you have the uh, the debut album 2020 coming out. Yep. And you wrote, recorded, and basically produced this entire thing during the pandemic separately. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Awesome. What was that? What was that process like? Somebody else go, not me. <laughs> uh, it was it was interesting, definitely. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I. Uh, we all kind of set up. I feel like we all got everything together right after the pand- uh, pandemic happened. And uh, like, I had to throw together this like rig tag studio in like a few weeks just to get to doing vocals. And uh, it was, it was interesting. It's kind of nice because, you know, I can get at the vocals when I'm most comfortable to do them as to where, when you have book studio time, you have to be, you know, on your game at this time, here and now and right uh with this setup yeah you can just wake up oh i'm feeling good today i'm gonna go at these vocals hard today because you know i feel great but yeah it's it's been pretty cool and it helps you don't have like an engineer yelling at you like do another take um unfortunately um, that one- <laughs> <laughs> i do actually i didn't do a couple extra takes i know that <laughs> I have to give you nothing but credit where credit is due. This is one of the cleanest sounding albums I've heard come out of 2020 and usually with metal and I'm not a huge metal head myself, but hearing something that's so clean and like technically well produced and anybody who is watching this, when this album drops, you have to listen to it. And this is by no means a shot at anybody in the band, but the guitar work and the drums are like two extra members of the band all by themselves. Oh, the drums. I'm so Crazy. glad we get to talk about the drums. Like By the uh, animal. Who's the animal? <laughs> uh, that would be our very own Brad Barnett. Uh, Brad wasn't able to make it, unfortunately. However, Brad is with us in spirit, and he is he lives up to the nickname. If the man closes his eyes and works magic. It's just basically what it comes down to. Like, I've never played with a drummer like him before. Me and him together just make, I don't know, just, they just really gel so well together. It's, it's unreal. That makes a huge difference. Absolutely. Like, uh, in, in listening to the album, even though you're obviously in different places and recording different things at different times, when you hear the album itself, it's it's so cohesive. So, like, big props to you for making that happen. It's a it's a team effort, man. We not one guy carries everyone. Everybody has equal work, and we're all very proud of it. And yep. we just carry the torch. That's all we do. With so many different subgenres of metal, where does Battle Scarred fall, or do they not do not adhere to a genre? Um, I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna open this to the floor. Actually, I I, I know what it is. We're all over the map, man. We're all over the map. There's no one spot. Yeah. Oh, we we every song is different. Every every song has something new in. It can fit in every genre. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. Um, like I, the few people that I've heard, but um, burn the witch, they immediately it's you know thrash death metal, right? But then you get walk away, which is more of a, a new metal, kind of like kill switch engage and more in that influence. It's we like to mix things up, and we all have very different influences. Um. And we bring them together and to make our own style, I guess, of metal. Soon as Battle Scarred gets to play live, what is an audience in for? (laughs) You ever seen a nuclear bomb go off? (laughs) I mean, only once. (laughs) A lot of aggression, I'd say. Yeah, we're not gonna. We're not the type of bands uh, that's gonna stand around and and just play like you know. Um, I, I know we're not in our twenties or even well, a couple of us might be. I am. Teens, but, yeah. I'm um, in my twenties <laughs> still. But only for a couple more months, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but again, like um, you know, I, I see this band really kicking a lot of ass, and even if we do bills with some uh, younger bands, um, 
you know, my intent is to have these younger bands go up and go, holy fuck, you guys are, for a bunch of old guys, like you guys bring it, you know, and uh, just take no prisoners. Just go out there and fucking kill. Okay, yeah. I just want to say like hearing hearing the low end of the album as well is absolutely amazing. And Aaron, I don't know what you are doing when you're doing Burn the Witch, but like it just uh, it lost. It. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah yeah i'm sorry on that one actually the way uh the way i did uh aaron's vocals because it was just most of me and aaron just talking back and forth uh he would send me stuff and i would say okay more of this less of that and then he and then he'd send it to me and i go okay and then at one point even the new version of father of lies which that's a funny story with the movie ver uh, version of that but the um the a new album version he has a low growl and a high growl and a high uh, high screen kind of thing so what i did was i just bent blended them together to create this sound that i was like holy shit this is our sound now <laughs> as well so battle scarred is already going to be uh, featured in a horror movie but there's two different versions of father of lies yes yeah, so uh, this so after we got uh john came back to the band we had our full lineup which is right now and we we had just been slagging working on the songs trying to figure out how we should sound all this sort of thing the writer of the movie keith cooper who's a good friend of mine i met him years ago and we've been friends ever since he's done a lot of movies like christmas movies this and that so he got this horror movie that he's he loves horror movies so he finally got this horror movie made and it was actually filmed here in barry uh cookstown and it, just in the surrounding areas well they loved the hell out of father of lies and said can you get vocals on it because there was no vocals on it at the time I said, yeah, yeah, sure. When do you need it by? Like two days ago? Oh, shit. Okay. So I get on the phone with Aaron right away, and I'm like, hey, bud, <laughs> any chance you can just lay some vocals down on Father Lies? And I'll let Aaron take it from here. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, he tells me this. I don't have my studio ready. Nothing's ready yet. And uh, I found a, a digital audio workstation for mobile. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll figure something out with this. So I get that. I get one of those little eye rig things to plug typically a guitar into. And then I get a microphone and I load the song onto my wife's old iPhone and bring my phone. And then we, I drive out to the middle of nowhere because I have kids sleeping in the house and we need this done. <laughs> so I'm on a street uh, that's being built up behind my place a few blocks. And I'm by myself at 10 o'clock at night recording these death metal as guttural as i could get them vocals by myself just praying that a police officer doesn't drive up behind me because they're not going to know what the hell is going on i got two phones laid out on the dash i got my microphone in my hand headphones on the whole deal and i recorded all the vocals in my piece of crap pathfinder <laughs> Now the movie uh, it premiered at the Fantasia Film Festival in August, uh, September of 2020. It's got a lot of great reviews on it. Shudder's picked it up as an original film now. So it's on the streaming service Shudder. And now they're releasing the movie to Blu-ray and DVD <clears throat> on June, June 15th. So Amazing. We, All it, thanks it, to Battle Scarred. Interesting <laughs> thing, though. If, if you, if you uh, watch the movie, um, the scene where, where our song comes in is, is just before the solo. And I guess the engineer sped up the song like three or four times. So when the solo kicks in, it's, it's playing at this impossible speed. And I'm like, oh, no, this isn't good because you know, there, there's no way that this could ever be replicated. It's not humanly possible. If there was one song from the EP that you wanted to try and hook people with, which song is it? I would say Walk Away. Same with me. It's it's got um it's got a very accessible chorus, um a very clean, very melodic, uh, almost uh, Lincoln Parkish kind of chorus, which is great. So um you know even with some friends and family that are that are curious about it and not necessarily into metal, I'll let them listen to Walk Away, and they'll be kind of cringing at first, and I'm like just wait, just wait for the chorus, and the chorus will kick in like oh my god, this is amazing, and I'm like okay, that's cool. What 
does the future of Battle Scarred look like? Well, now that we have the five song EP uh, just about uh, just about to be released next week, um, we do have a lot of other material. Like I would say probably what, seven, eight more songs. Um, a few of them are, are pretty much ready to be recorded. And I think we already started some pre-production on, I know one song that is my absolute favorite. It's a very old song called uh, From the Ashes. Oh, yeah. So um, yeah, so rest assured once this drops, it won't be long before we got our second EP coming out or maybe a full album, depending on what happens. I guess we haven't really decided on that yet. Thank you so much for joining us and taking the time to talk about this. I, I hope this EP gets the love and the respect it deserves because as a, as a non-metal person for the most part, I've already listened to it half a dozen times. I plan on listening to it more. Maybe not, maybe not when I'm driving around so much because now the sun is out, people seem happy. This is not a happy EP. <laughs> nope. Actually, the, the lyrical content of this album has to do with uh, manipulation and betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> happy summer 2021 everybody <laughs> uh, great. Uh, before uh, before we say goodbye we always like to ask the bands are there any other bands or artists that people should be listening to while they're stuck at home or should just be listening to because they are amazing um alien weaponry for sure amazing band from new zealand uh absolutely great check them out if we're gonna uh, talk Oh, go ahead, Aaron. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, uh, shout out to, I was actually uh, kind of a part of the project in the start of their early stuff, but uh, Tangents, they're, uh, mm -hmm. they're really a band, and he's actually been promoting the hell out of our stuff for us, so uh, yeah, I, I got to give him a shout out for sure. They got some great songs coming out, and they're working on some new stuff as well. Awesome. Uh, I, I'm going to shout out a couple of bands and actually a couple of artists that helped us along the way here. So um, in the first lineup that Battlescar was, there was also Rob Merchildren, who played bass actually on all the demos. And uh, my good buddy, Matt Dunn, who used to be in 30 going on 13, um, he did some drums for us before he was even in that band. So there's that. Uh, if we're talking local, um, I just I just discovered uh, a particle apart. Holy crap, they're fantastic! Uh, Dead Beyond Fear, they're pretty a bitchin' too. And there was a band I was recording here at the house before uh, the pandemic hit called uh, Torty Yield, and I love love that band. They're a good bunch of people. We just laugh and, and have a great time. So I can't wait for them to start putting stuff out as well. If we go local, I definitely would stick with a particle apart for sure. They, that song they just put out was killer and obviously will and tangents obviously he's been showing us some love for helping us out our you know great guy um non-local way too many bands i listen to man i have thousands <laughs> of cds and jillian keeps selling me more <laughs> yeah. so it's it's hard to pinpoint one actually the one i'm listening to right now is fit for an autopsy mostly like all the time so uh, mm -hmm. that's probably what i've been really pushing lately mm -hmm. Awesome. I uh, just want to say thank you again so much for joining us. Um, I can't wait for the world to experience this EP. It's absolutely killer. Um, definitely makes you want to rage and throw some fists around, but please do so safely and consensually. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, Nobody uh, gets hurt. And is there, is there a particular song off the album that you want us to listen to to play us out on? Oh, um... That's a good one. You pick, Kyle. John, do you want to pick? Aaron, do you want to pick? Or am I going to pick? <laughs> I'm going to say walk away because we just talked how walk away is kind of our nice, our nice, uh, everyone can be involved in that song. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, absolutely. We're about them. Plus, we're walking away from this interview. So, yeah, that's yeah. great. Let's go with that. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, here is Walk Away by Battle Scarred off of their debut EP 2020 coming out April 27th. Give them some love. And, I guess, rage your way through 2021, everybody. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. All right. Thank no you. problem, man. Thanks. Thanks. Awesome.